What's going on everybody? It's your main man Proof is in the play. I'm here on the Peeps and View show. And I got a special guest, man. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Demetrius Tinsley, CEO of Billionaire Ambitious Grind, LLC. Clothing line just dropped a couple months ago. Fresh out of Seattle, Washington, you know, just just trying to put something together, man. Start a new movement, man. Start something big. It's small right now, but you know, it's about to blow. Okay, where you're from in Seattle? Oh man, a little small neighborhood, man, Union Street. You know, all the way from 21st to 26th. You know, just the whole neighborhood, the whole whole Central District, man. Shout out to every neighborhood, man. Jackson, Cherry, Dearborn, Union, Yesler. You know, every neighborhood in the CD, man. You know, just just all everything positive, man. All positive vibes, man. I gotta say, just you know, growing up, man, in a, in a household, man. You know, pops left when you know when I was around 10, so. I just kind of got like, I got tired of watching my mom struggle, man. You know, when, when you're doing stuff like that, when, when you're growing up in an environment like that, you you watching your mom struggle, you know, you got a little sister. You know, it comes a time where you got to be the man of the household. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm not really going to get into too many details, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do to survive out here. You know, it's a dog eat dog world. You know, it's, it's real out there, man. Once you jump out there in that world, man, it, it gets real, real. So I just, you know, I, I did what I had to do and just... You know, taking care of my mom growing up and just feeding my family as a man, you know, taking my pop spot. Growing up, you know, everybody else, you know, of course we're looking up to basketball players and all that, but, you know, I, you know, I looked up to basketball players too, you know, because I used to have hoop dreams and stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, growing up, you know, you ain't going to make it. You know, you got to you gotta check reality, man. You know, it's either you're going to go to school or, you know, you're going to get a job, you're going to try to find a career, you're going to try to do something. But, you know, growing up for me, in my neighborhood, you know, I'm looking up to the local neighborhood D-Boys, you know, black business owners, you know, just people doing positive stuff, some people doing negative stuff, but at the end of the day, they making it happen, you know, they feeding their families, you know, they they making sure their people straight, them is the type of people I look up to, you know, just just men being, being men, period, you know, taking care of their responsibilities. Don't, don't get me wrong, you know, like, you know, I'm a Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan fan, you know, I look up to them, but, you know, at the end of the day, they might not have grew up the same way as I grew up, you know, so, like, I mean, of course, I look up to rappers, you know, you know, who, I read their story, you know, and the dude check out, like, you know, that person did come up, up and coming like that, you know, he had a struggle, he had a story to tell, too, you know, you know, so I look up to people like that, you know, I just, I just like seeing people, like, who, who have rough situations, 360 and turn stuff, away, turn stuff around, to where it makes a negative into a positive, you know what I'm saying? I'm messing with the whole city, man. You know, I, I can name off a few, man. You know, Porter Ray, uh, Menace, Lil D, my nigga Soup from my neighborhood. Soup and Lil D, man, they going hard right now, man. They're from my neighborhood. But definitely Porter Ray, man, family. Jeezy, my neighborhood, you feel me? Even other cats away from my neighborhood. You know, Menace, Valley, man, all... All Seattle rappers, man. Even, 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 even not from my side, man. Other side, man. Kerry Stacks going hard. You know, I, I heard a couple of joints from his joint. You know, he he can rap. I like his music, man. Just, but honestly, man, I, I'm supporting the whole Seattle, man. I don't care if you from the South End, West Seattle, the City, man, the North End, wherever you from, man. If a nigga come up to me talking about, man, I got a mixtape for sale, man. I'm from the town. I'm trying to make something happen. What's your mixtape? Five dollars. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, oh not, don't let me uh, forget, man. My partner's ATM. Shout out to them too. Them niggas going hard downtown. Them niggas hustling city to city, selling CDs. You know, I just any any artist out the city. Avatar. You know my childhood partner. Shout out Avatar. Um, who else can I name, man? We got so much talent out here, man. So many rappers. I'm telling and you. In a minute, real. in a minute, y'all might be on the lookout for me, man. I I might even hop out, the, hop in the booth and and have a story to tell. Oh. My partner Ray, Ray shines on the beats, man. Making a lot of niggas beats. Um, sweet spec, man. Everybody's rapping. My nigga Draco from the eight. Everybody's rapping, man. We got a lot of rappers out the city, man. And if I if I forgot to mention anybody's name, you know I apologize. But you know damn well I'm by the city. My nigga, my other childhood partner, you know Royce, DJ Mustard's artist. He's making noise. Um, man, we got a lot of talent, man. Nate, Jack, Ike. You know he, they rap, they they messing with uh Porter Ray and them over there. Oh, okay. Um, man, we 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 got so much talent coming out the city, man. It's just crazy. 
Let me see, man. Who who else could I go off the top of my head? Who else the CDs I got in my car, man? I think I named every. Oh, uh, my older partner K1. He's going heavy in the streets right now. Team player for life. <laughs> he going, man. And that's the other side of the city, man. But that's family, man. That's my guy. He's going hard. He's in heavy rotation right now. Um, who else is repping with Ray Shines? Uh, B Skis. My other partner from the Valley. Um, man, just you know, everybody. Everybody rapping, man. I'm, I'm supporting the movement, man. Whatever type of movement you got going, I'm supporting, man. Even the older niggas, man. Even the older niggas who've been rapping for a long time and they're really relevant. Shout out to them too, man. But right now, you know, it's a it's a young nigga takeover, man. We, a lot of artists out here, man. Hey, man. What 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 got you into making this 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 you know bag that bag shirt? You know what I'm saying? I kept seeing the bag shirt everywhere. Everybody had it. And I didn't have one. I didn't even know where to get it. I went downtown thinking it was at, you know, Urban Outfitters and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Coming soon. Coming soon. Hey, you know. So, what, what inspired you to start getting into the fashion world? Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing. My other partner, Jay Bird, man. I forgot about Jay Bird. I'm, I'm just sitting there off the top, man. Make sure I mention all my niggas rapping. I don't, you know, I don't even want to hear that. <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, man, just inspired me to do something different, man. I said, man. I need to find something that just represents me, my, you know, just what I like to do, man. I like to chase money. I like to get money. I'm a businessman, man. Just any ways, any way legit to get a check, man, I'm all for it. And, you know, I like fashion, man. And, you know, I, li I like a lot of nice things. Like, I like a, a lot of designer stuff. But I'm not knocking no designers or anything like that because I'm still going to wear that shit. That shit's fly. But, you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to make something for, for me that's fly that I could wear. And my people around me could wear too. That represents everybody that I deal with. You know, everybody got an ambition. Everybody want to chase a bag. Everybody want to get up every day, daily, and get a check. You ain't gotta necessarily. You don't gotta be in the streets. You don't gotta be a D boy. You don't gotta sell drugs. You don't gotta rob. You don't gotta steal. You you, you don't gotta. It don't even gotta be negative. You you could be a lawyer. You could be a doctor, uh, a dental assistant. You could do hair. You could do anything. At the end of the day, you chasing a check to feed your family, so you chasing a bag. So you know that that billionaire ambitious grind. You feel me? Like I mean, you know that billionaire might might seem a long, long ways away, cause you know everybody want a ticket, everybody trying to get an M. But I mean, it might be far away. But at the end of the day, that's what you chasing, and you keep grinding, you keep grinding, you stacking, you know, and you just got that ambition to keep going, and keep going, and keep going. I'm supporting. Everything my people do, like I said, I don't care if you blood, crip, GD, whatever. I don't care what side of town you're from. If you got some type of positive movement going on, I'm rocking with you, man. I promise you that. You can see me walk up to me. I'm not no funny acting dude. I'm a down to earth dude, man. I said what's up to everybody, man. I got love for everybody. You feel me? All I'm doing is, man, chasing the bag, taking care of my family, taking care of my daughter, and making sure everything that I need to handle, all my business as a man, is straight. And that's what that billionaire ambitious grind is about. You know, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how bad it gets, like you said, you know, everybody gonna fall. It's not how it's not about how you fall, man. It's about how you get back up. You just gotta keep grinding, man. Keep having that same ambitious grind, man. I want I want everybody to know where they can get this billionaire ambitious grind clothing. You know what I'm saying? What's your Instagram? What's your Twitter? Your you know your Facebook? Anything that you got man. that they can get a hold of so they can get one of them shirts, man? Cause they chasing the bag too. Yeah, man. Um, man, check out the website beambitiousgrind.com. The links in my bio on Instagram. Uh, Welcome home, black or billionaire ambitious grind LLC. Whatever, give me a follow, whatever, shout out, repost. Man, I, I just appreciate all the support, man. I appreciate all the support coming out of my city. My city's rocking with me heavy. I got other cities rocking with me heavy, man. You know, just, I appreciate it. You know, I just got the website up. I started this business a couple months ago, and we just, we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to keep grinding, man. And just, man, for real, man, it's, this thing going to take off, man. I got faith, you know. I already know God's on my side with this one, man. And, Man, like I said, we're going to take off, man. We're going to keep pushing, man. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep this ambitious. And we're going to keep chasing this bag, man. Make sure that bag is right. If the bag ain't right, ain't nothing right. The bag got to be right, man.